Let's start here. Nice. That is showing our transitions. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of composing in pentatonic parallel. Part 27, shimmer tone. The idea of shimmer tone, and it's taken us a bit of time to get there, is a muted soundtrack on the score that helps drive a slight variation in the animation brightness. So what we did, we have completed adding a, a line called shimmer tone down here. For example, down, and we're using a contrabass. So it sounds like this. You can hear it down there. Way down there. And we did that throughout the composition. And it's, it's too loud on the most part to, to leave in the actual sound part. Although we're tempted to keep it. So we're thinking about it. So we renamed this Raw Plus Shimmer. We then exported it where we could work with it and we have a separate raw mp3 file which is just the music and we have a separate shimmer mp3 which is what you just heard so what that let us do and we'll give you an example here in the sunlit scene we are driving we're using shimmer. This took us a while to figure this out. The clouds have two layers. If we turn this off, we're just going to see a solid white underlayer. If we turn off the solid white underlayer, we're getting a shimmering overlay that's driven by sh shimmer, but it's not exactly equal to. Um, You see, that's what it looks like. See, they're not exactly the same. We didn't want the clouds doing this on and off, on and off stuff. So we succeeded in getting that handled. So we uh, added shimmer. We added shimmer to the sun uh, scene. Stop hiding it for a minute. And we added it to the moonlit. You can see it shimmering there. And then we created a third scene called Bloodlit Shimmer, which is just a different set of colors. And the trick that we learned to make this all work is that you must pre-color everything. Set the colors you like ahead of time. And I can show you what that looks like because if we just kind of pass through everything here, um, you, get, you get what you want. Uh, so that's how we pre-color it there. Then, then you fiddle with the overlay. And the trick we learned was by using the exact same post and pre-color settings and just using alpha to come down a little bit, uh, it made the whole thing considerably simpler. For those that were watching earlier streams, we were pulling our hair out because it seemed to get so complicated. So we then added the bloodlet scene into the playlist, as you just saw a little bit ago. Um, basically, what we're doing is we're saying, uh, start with the title. There it is, Shadow Sonnet. Go to the corrals. There's the first stanza. Arpeggios. We're now switching to Bloodlit. We're staying there through the tacks, the voices, the dances. At Illusions, we're going back to Moonlit. I think we forgot to put moonlit in there somewhere. Yeah, this one should be moonlit. But and we made it 
so that it was easy to do, we just say, hey, get the moon back in there. Ta-da! So, yeah. It's kind of cool. We're kind of tickled. Sun, moon, blood, 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 moon, sun. Come on. So we did all that. So ideas, next steps. Well, we want to render the movie and view it. And we also want to look at keeping the shimmer line audible in the score. Probably by, I don't know, we have to look at it. We don't necessarily want to turn the volume down because that might mess up our, um, the animation effect. The animation is driven by loudness at the momento. Look at Shimmer. See, we're using the volume to drive it. So if we turn the volume down, we're the, the, we did match the Shimmer line volume to the volume of the... We kept it at MF all, all the way through. We didn't vary it. We just kept it at kind of the average dynamic. So we will conclude today's stream by playing a little bit of... Let's, let's do a little bit of the transition where it goes from illusions to pillars, just because that's kind of a pretty part. So it, pillars begins at 9.35, so maybe we'll just scoot up to 9. Uh, there. And play that. So that concludes today's stream. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Blacker Than Darkness, for your shout out. I appreciate it. And we will see you in the next episode. And as always, keep on streaming.